Welcome back. Today I'm with Dalmont. We're going to be doing a super fast fleet review. So here he is. What are these two things you've got in front of me? What is this? What are these? These drones? are worker drones, and this isn't quite a fleet. <laughs> no, it's not a fleet, is it? But it's a collection of ships. So, first of all, I just want to thank the gift. It's a beautiful infected mushroom. It's beautiful. Right, now. Doo -doo -doo, in we go. I could have sworn I changed my camera, so it was, uh, there we go. Right then. So, tell me what we've got here then. Uh, this is a modular base, essentially. Okay. So we have two massive hangar modules up top and on the bottom, and lots of docking room on the sides. And uh, that all gets surrounded with a central hub that's semi-mobile. Nice. So the central hub docks the mobile hangars. Precisely. And then the mobile hangars dock turrets and ships. Correct, but you can also dock uh, orbital defense platforms onto the central hub. In fact, let's see if I can spawn one of those in. Let you take a quick look around. Oh, yes! I got the right one. And you're going to have to show me some of these ships as well. We need to look at all these ships. So obviously this is the SFW Orbital Shipyard, designed to be docked with... Is this called the Orbital Dock? Orbital Hub? What's this orbital called? Hub or Infrastructure Hub, whatever you want to call hub. it. And obviously you can see that the one is docked, and then this one underneath is also docked. Looks pretty cool when it spins. Oh wow, it spins? Oh yeah, it moves. That's not a station. <laughs> what about these ships that aren't attached? Uh, those are slightly too big for the uh, docking area. We have the Darwin and the new one, which I believe we're going to take a look at today, the uh, Altair. So, which is the big one? The, the uh, really big ship is the Altair. Oh, very nice. It looks That's our meaty. New, it's our new top-of-the-line combat ship. Oh, it looks meaty. I especially like the detail on the turrets. And look at this little detail here. Oh, what's this? Little antenna. Nice, the little red glow. Makes it look like heat sinks or something. Brilliant. I also spawned in one of our orbital defense platforms over here. I'm just checking out this. Oh, right on. Sun's in the way. Delete sun. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, meaty engines. Very nice. Wow, it makes the series look small. Oh yeah, it's only 220 meters though. Oh dear, this inside is going to be crazy. That's the series from a previous video. I'll put the link in the description for that. So what's the name of this big ship again? The uh, Altair. The Altair. I like the name. Features. Named after the star, although admittedly I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It sounds cool anyway. Yeah, yeah, say it how you want to say it, man. So what's the name of the one on the other side? That is the SFW Darwin. I don't think we've had a proper look at it yet. Should we look at the Darwin first? Yeah, it's nice and small. It's uh, our yeah. science vessel. Let's check the Darwin out. All right, I'm just going to come around to the back. What's the name of that turret ship that you're using as well? This one here is a just simply a worker drone. Worker drone. They come as accessories with your small shipyards. And where do we get in on this particular model? Right underneath in my trademark invisible docking bays. Oh yeah, I remember we looked at this on the live stream test. We saw so much awesome shit that night and uh, ships that night and uh, it didn't save. Boo. That is a shame. It was. Right, here we go. I'm coming. I'm loving the infected shroom. I I gotta say it's it's adorable and deadly. <laughs> so we arrive first in our main hangar bay. Yep. Little probe later and whatnot. Little probe. That being actually the smallest ship 
and on the entire fleet. Nice. Oh, okay. Moving on into the interior. We've got glass there and there. Hang on. What? <laughs> Do you miss the door? <laughs> <coughs> Where's the door? Down here on the left and right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Nice, nice. Dope. Oh, wow. It's bigger on the inside. So we've got the core. Let's do the stats real quick. Is it factioned up? Nope. One of the privileges of running your own server. Okay. Camera one. Camera two. Camera three. Camera four. Camera five. That's the core. And back to camera one. Nice views. I like the views. Okay, so the name of the ship, SFW Darwin 2, this is mass 2153, length 125 meters, height 24 meters, width 65 meters. It's got a power of 32,000 total, uh, energy is 357,000 per second, thrust is 4,865, it's got a turning speed of 1.1 on the X, 1.3 on the Y, and 1 on the Z. It has 153,717 shields and 5,733 per second recharge. Recovery time 2. That's it. Beautiful, man. So I take it this is the med bay. No, this is actually, well, Oh, you're looking. Oh, yep, that's the med bay up there, I suppose. This whole central area, though, is a specimen area. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's yep. little cactus here. So the whole ship is essentially designed to pick up things and catalog them. I like it. Like in uh, that movie with um, the navigator. Right, right. <laughs> oh, I see. The, mo the med bay is actually in there. Derp. There we go. Med Bay. A bit tight. It's alright. And we'll go to the upstairs. Surprisingly, I managed to get three floors into this baby. Oh, wow. This, I think, is my one of my favorite bridges so far. It is. Interesting detail with the uh, overhanging glass. Not well, surprisingly, you're the first one to notice that. <laughs> really? Uh, That's my favorite bit too. Yeah, it's pretty slick. Not seen that before. Really nice detail on the ceiling. No one does detailed ceilings. It's interesting. Interesting. Interesting seats here, buddy. More like a table, isn't it? And you just because people don't sit down in Star Maid, so why make seats? Is a good yeah. unless you want to be the captain. Of course, well, the captain has. To, it's a captain's chair, mate. You've got to have a captain. It's, it's a mighty. It's a mighty good view from there too. Oh, oh uh, yeah. You can sort of see out along the uh, prow. Very nice. Very nice. Let's have a little walk around. Let's have a look up here. Do do do. Ha ha. Brilliant. Excellent. So you said this goes up again? <laughs> this, nope, uh, the third floor being the hangar oh. deck. Ah, got ya. Maybe I'm cheating a bit there, but... <laughs> no, it's fine. I like all of the um, framework that you've put into all the walls and ceilings. Well, not so much in this room, but in other rooms, definitely. It's really nice. Never a dull moment. <laughs> oh, what's this? Uh, oh yeah, that's the bit which I got stuck on. Uh -huh. I see, so the third floor is obviously this hangar here. Not the biggest If you actually hangar. turn around in the uh, stairwell, there's even detail down here. Yeah, I saw that on the way up, actually. I was liking that use of the uh, decorative panels. 
I do feel like you might have been able to get more hangar space. I don't know why. I, I could have, but I needed to put some systems in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really good. Originally, uh, originally this was going to hold one of the Alkir shuttles, much like the, uh, I guess the Darwin did. But believe it or not, that seven by seven by seven is a lot bigger than it looks. <coughs> and this is the smaller of the two ships that we're going to be looking at. So. Oh yes, this is relatively tiny, actually. So let's go check out the other ship. So that was the Darwin, was it not? Was it not? Yep, that is correct. I'm going to leave my door open. Right. Huh. So the door on this one is uh, right behind the bridge on the top section. And I think this is my uh, new favorite interior as well. little space walk. I'll be there in a sec. Oh, in fact, we've already looked at the exterior. I'll have another loop round at the end. But yeah, this is the... Oh, what? I've forgotten the name already. You've got it. You've got it. The... Zaire. No, it's not that. Close, but no cigar. Altair. <laughs> Altair. See, I had the vowels, but none of the syllables, none of the consonants. <laughs> so this one actually has gravity, by the way. Altair. So it's like Alter, but Altair. Pretty much. I mean, it's spelled the same as the star, but... I feel like I, I came in here a little bit quickly and left, skipped something. I came in here. Right, so here we are. We've got entrance, we've got engines, we've got the doors, we've got Dalmont. Let's check it out. And you got your gravity. Oh yeah, let's put the gravity on, because this is going to be a I know that's an unusual feature. Gravity! Okay, so we've got some little, little, uh, you know, places for the drones to work. work Particularly here. neat view up here. I like looking down the bow of the ship. Yeah, it looks nice. So you've got some little little consoles here. Nice. And now we get to the fun part. <clears throat> <clears throat> and here we are. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. So there's more. Okay. Well, what can I say? Get your uh, get your notebook out, guys, because this looks pretty awesome. I'm just sort of, I tried to cram a lot into it. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm just taking it in, mate. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like it. Where are, where are we going here? So what? This is the new med bay. I take it. Yes. There's a new med bay over here. We have a botany lab as well. Well, homegrown food. We're going organic now in the fleet. This is a little more Spartan than the usual ship of this size for the simple reason that it's a combat-only vessel. My favorite room. Oh, botany room, like you say. It actually looks like daylight, it or does. so I've been told. And take a look, good look up. Interesting use of lighting up there. Interesting. Hmm. Science station. Nice. And then the isolation ward. Oh, quarantine. Or med bay. Someone got stung by a space hornet. Space jelly. Yeah. Too many space mushrooms. Blog. They ate a bite of the poison mushroom. <laughs> I like. Yeah, it's really nice. Come to think of it, I should have put something up here. You should have put an, 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 uh, uh, like an operating table with an up, a, a viewing from above, you know? Like they have in and little, movies and stuff. A little rail. Yeah, yeah, so that people can observe from a distance as they cut the parasite out of the 
poor young explorers. <laughs> So those are the two big rooms. Uh, next up on the list is back here. Yep. Our pre-core room bridge. Interesting thing to note about this core room in particular is uh, it follows the same design style as the Sirius where you have about uh, 15 blocks of solid hardened hull in every direction around you. Oh, wow. Not to mention the engines and the turrets, which uh, have their own independent shielding. Camera one. Camera two. Camera three. And the nose cam. And another nose cam. Just in case. Yeah, nice. And then I guess that's the core. And camera one. Going into build mode, let's check out the stats on the beast. So, for the SFW Altair, we have a mass of 20,152. Uh, we have a length of 220 meters, a height of 81 meters, width of 77 meters, power of 1.8 million, uh, total regen 1.5 million per second. Thrust is 54,158. Turning on the X is 1.1, on the Y 1.1, and on the Z 1. It has 1.5 million shields and a 33,000 per second shield recharge. Recovery time 4. <clears throat> there you go. I might make a suggestion. Yep. Fire the missiles. Yes, I think I will do so. And make sure you have a good look at it. I'm getting out. So zoom out. <laughs> right, missiles. Okay, so obligatory AMC test. Oh, that's nice. It came out like a river. Right, if you follow it with your eyes. <laughs> it pours out. Okay, that's nice. Let's do the missiles. Oh wow. Are they all B one B B B B missiles? Uh, they are yep, they're guided. Oh people are in trouble. This thing managed to penetrate a beetle gunship, I think it had a hundred some thousand shields. Uh with missiles alone. I'm not so those to the shroom. Uh -oh. Those engines are entirely filled with missiles. Uh, God, that's beautiful. That's the ship's defining feature. Plus it carries the same kind of turrets on the Sirius, and it's only 220 meters long. Wow. Right, so there's more. There's more? Excellent. There's a lot more. <laughs> oh, well, oh, good. SFW, baby. So this is the final room, but there's a lot of little intricacies in here. So, I'm stood on your dinner table. It's true. Nice. Beds. Yep, we've only got a crew of four. Hypersleep. And you can lay in bed and play your computer. I've always wanted one of those. Oh yeah. It just holds it above my head. <laughs> Excellent. And then what do we got over here? We got the big screen TV. You know it. Everyone needs a big screen TV. Of course. I get to be the lunch lady. <laughs> okay, so let me see. What do you got? <clears throat> we have purple stuff. Yep. And blue stuff, and a little bit of green stuff, which might be slightly more palatable. I think I'll go for the special. <laughs> All of the above. 
highly irradiated. <laughs> so more decoration over here. It's because that's the cable TV box. Of course, we still have that in whatever century this is. Bit of parkour. We'd be lost without it. Hardcore. Hardcore <laughs> parkour. <laughs> oh yeah. See, there's so much potential for parkour in this game due to the epic jumping. But there you go. Oh, pro tip. Look down and you won't fall off the edge. Even if you push forwards. And you can like... If the angle isn't, it literally, what? yeah, it slows down. It's really cool. It slows down your walking speed the more you're looking down. I don't know if it's a bug, but it's quite useful because if you look straight down, you're not moving, and you can like. My God, I've learned something today. You can like creep, you can creep right up to the edge and then just stop. I must admit, you look a little bit like Michael Jackson when you do that. Oh really? <laughs> Go over to where I was. <clears throat> Oh yeah, you're. He's slow motion. Does it work going backwards? It's the moonwalk, baby. <laughs> Time on. Learning something new every day. Dun. Oh what? Are you turning the light on and off as well? <laughs> Oh dear, we're working out some dance moves, but they're still pretty slow. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Yeah. We'll get a team. Yeah, we'll work on it. We'll be the best dancers in the world. We'll figure it out. Fly the ship of destiny to California. <laughs> this is awesome. There's lots of stuff crammed in here, like you say. Are there more rooms? Yeah, it's surprisingly small. Unfortunately, no. This, this is, is the last extent room. of it. That's, I like this as well. It's an inventive use of, uh, you know, terrain blocks. I love the use of terrain blocks on ships. Did you see Skylord Luke using uh, rock as a different palette of hull color? Yeah, I have on the, uh, what was it called? The, Uranus whatever the big Spirit one was. Of fire. Yes, that may be. Oof. That was a really nice ship. <clears throat> really big when you get up close too. I'd love to tour the gold edition. I think he's it finished so the neat. interior, so... Yeah, that's what the gold edition is. It's the uh, finished interior. Ah. Well, I think he's going to keep that one under wraps so he can do his series, isn't he? No, it's released. Is it released? Oh, well, yeah, it's fair out. play to him. I really like that when people bring stuff out like that. So We can do a special. We'll go review it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's see. How do we uh, get back to my space shroom? This way? Do, 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 do. I think it's this way. Expansive. I like how you managed to get so much space out of these babies. That's what we do. SFW at work. The two tiered bridge, I like the two tiered bridge. I have to do this again. <laughs> Spacewalk. Uh oh. Okay, right. Right, okay. Can he make it? Oh. Oh, I made it. I made it. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the ship, though. <gasps> <laughs> so close. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so it wants me to go round like this. There we go, right. Oof. Barely made it. Come on. Need to get back to the shroom. Oh yeah, nice. Place yourself just between. Let's see if I can make the jump. Ready? Coming, I'm going, I'm going. Oh! Yes, I got it, I got it. Okay. Get me to my shroom. <laughs> I can't really go far left or right. Are you gonna fall? That's all right. If you take me up really high, I've got I've got a plan. I'm trying to jump so that I don't fall through your ship. Ascending more casually. 
Okay. I think that's probably about... Okay, right. Let's do this. Godspeed. Oh, wait. You did it. You lifted me out of gravity. <laughs> Sweet. It worked. The utility ship did something useful. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably crying itself to sleep after that one. Oh. 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 Infected stream on the loose. Right then. So, you want to take a look at the orbital defense platform. Oh, yes. I like it because it's spawnable and it doesn't move. The top one, yeah? Nope, uh, right over here. Oh, wait. Behind you. Oh, hang on, what have I... You're about to... Collide with it. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. So what's this then? A turret defense platform. Yes. Very easily spawnable. Cheap and effective. Very effective. Very nice. So, does it have an interior, or is it basically a satellite? It's basically a satellite, but it does have an interior? It's something. Okay. It's what you'd expect of an automated satellite, I suppose. Let's check it out. <clears throat> I always try and do a little interior and everything, even if it's not really relevant. There's even gravity in this one. Oh, really? Where are you? Oh, yeah. Uh, there is a, well, I suppose designed to be hard to find right oh, down I here see. behind the shield. <laughs> You'll notice in the design of this, it's pretty much wholly made so that the core is difficult to hit. See Mr. Gravity over here. Oh, damn. There you go. I got gravity. <clears throat> and this is pretty much it, but it's better than nothing. So how many turrets? Four? That's correct. It's got uh, two of the uh, wing turrets found on the Sylvana, and it has uh, two mini planetary defense turrets. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's got a mass of 1810. It's got a length of 71 meters, height 59 meters, width 39 meters. Uh, the power is standard for, you know, 20,000. It's got a 1.6 million, no, 168,000 recharge for uh, energy uh, thrust 31 turning speed is 1.2 on the X 1.1 on the Y and 1.1 on the Z 189,000 shields 6,700 shields per second recharge recovery time is 2 so we've got camera 1 that's it boom beautiful <clears throat> it's nice to see a utility ship like this yeah, you don't get many uh, orbital platforms and that sort of thing. No, you don't. It looks good as well. I like this uh, use of the shielding to cover up the core a bit. Yeah, the idea behind this was, uh, I think, to have more armor than shield. Mm-hmm. Armor seems and to then have just more relevance lots now, of them. <clears throat> in fairness. It's actually harder to wipe out loads of blocks, so. Yeah, this is, uh, so it's proven to be highly effective. Five of these took on 150 essence in about 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You'd think that it's a little bit underpowered, but those guns have their own power supply, and they don't actually draw a lot. Oh, wow. I might have to order some for my, uh, for mushroom fleet use. Oh, we can totally recolor them. <laughs> you know the colors. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, yellow and brown, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Another beautiful ship. And a unique design, this one. I haven't seen anyone else. I mean, I bet other people have come up with this because they have gate guns in games like EVE Online. Stuff like that. Good example. I haven't. I certainly haven't seen many of them. No, no. I like the idea of having low thrust so that it can pretty much turn, but it can't really get very far. Exactly. That's in fact how the whole station is designed. I think I broke a new record with the orbital shipyard at about uh, 11 meters a second. 
Oh yeah, have we actually looked inside the orbital shipyard? Because uh, the stream didn't I think save. Not. So if I have looked at it before, we need to look at Here's it again. Here's one. Here's one. What? Opened up. Oh, what at the bottom? Well, right? at least on the bottom, yeah. Oh, I see. It's pretty expansive inside when you actually get in. Could the stream fit in? Oh yeah, definitely. This thing will fit a series. In fact, it'll dock a series. I'm gonna hit it, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm not gonna hit it. What? Just oh yeah, it's for big. the record, I'm in. I'm in a giant mushroom. There's loads of room in here. Hang on, I need to get out so people can see the scale. Cause I bet you could dock it. In fact, if you look over where I am, there's a little docking thing. All right, hang on. I'll, uh, oh, okay, just there. Right, okay. Let's get this baby docked up. We'll see if it's big enough. I don't know. It was actually designed for the uh, Neptune-class shuttle. It'll fit four. There's four of these, and you can fit a series in the middle. Yes! <laughs> it docks. Pretty universally, too. Uh, just to spoil it for you guys, there is a medium version of this in the works that'll dock four of these small shipyards and a Sirius Mark II. Oh, wow. You're going to dock the Sirius to your mobile platform. And that's the medium. Uh, the large is also in planning, and that's going to be able to dock the Ethereus and a Silvana. What? That'd be insane. Docking the Ethereus. Bam. Yep, that's uh, next in line. Bam. In fact, the hangar that's currently existing is, uh, or well, it's actually on the server. Hmm. Work in progress, if you're curious. But, well, uh, I may as well give it, if, if you want to release a sneak peek to us, then uh, we'll go and check it out. We can do that. It doesn't have much on it. It's pretty much just a big, uh, it's a big hangar. <laughs> well, if you want to wait, that's fine. You know what I mean? I think it's worth looking at for no other reason than the fact that it is okay. darned impressive. Let's do but it. we can we can save we can save that for after this because it's going to take you a minute to load it in. Okay, so what else is there to look at around here then? Well, if we want to back out of this one, there's actually a little control room up at the top, and then we can go down to the infrastructure hub. Oh yeah, of course. So we've got our little control room. Let's check it out. Oh. Sun's a bit bright. We'll go from here. Two little control areas. I'll get in build mode and s go through the walls. Boom! I'm in there. Whereabouts are you? I'm just. I was just getting ready to float up in there, but I'm back at my ship. Oh, you're not going to now. Okay. Right then. So yeah, here's the uh, little control room for the. Infrastructure hub? No. For the mobile hangar? Yep. Orbital shipyard, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same thing. I like the struts that you've put under here as well, they're really cool. Just get inspired, don't you, sometimes? Yeah, sometimes I just kind of feel like doing struts. <laughs> <laughs> On the back of the door when you're the engine, there's just <laughs> struts all over it. Unlike today, I build a ship with struts. <laughs> The infrastructure hub is actually a bit quirky. It's not as refined as you'd normally expect, but uh, it gets the job done. Essentially, the idea behind this is to be just that, an infrastructure hub. There's a habitation module in planning for this as well. So it'll actually dock onto this side here. Hmm. <laughs> These docks are actually also not set up for one particular class of ship. They're more universal. Yep. So they're just big. So yep, pretty much. Where did you hide the? Um, <clears throat> where did you hide? Hang on. Oh, just flying out of my shroom. So, how did you hide the docking enhancers for these giant dockings? Where are they in the superstructure? Well, uh, they actually run the length of the whole thing. Ah, I mean, every block you see... So you built it out of lots of different docking enhancer setups. 
I basically built the skeleton for the docking enhancers. Yeah. Saw if it docked the uh, thing or not, and uh, put the skeleton on top of it. <clears throat> Do you know what? This is a really nice station. I'd love to have this as an NPC station. You know? That would be cool. It'd be nice if you could have multiple NPC stations in your server. If you could, like, define... You know, defy, like when you have enemy use on your blueprints, if you could, like, set up a sector to be, or a station, you know. I don't know how it could be done, but it would just be nice to populate the universe with more than just the standard NPC. You know, oh, definitely. Give a bit of customization to people that want to do a bit more role-playing. They can, like, just because then they would just pop up, you know. You wouldn't have to, like, build them and export them to lots of places. Uh, I don't know. So have you seen the door? Might not be that easy to do, so I don't know. But yeah, I didn't see the door. No, <clears throat> I, oh, I just... got teleported out of it, but it's right down there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a bit finicky, but uh, a bit. It works perfectly when you dock oh. the series. Oh gosh! You go right out of its door into oh, this. Right, it's because I'm not the yeah. Oh, I got teleported out again. Yeah, it's a bit. Looks a bit nuts up there right now. It's angry. Okay. Okay, I made it less mad. So yeah, this is basically just the uh, oh wow transit between different sections and ships. Oh wow! Talk about your big reveal. This is awesome. See. This should be your station. I know it's mobile, which makes it even cooler, but... <laughs> I hope the blueprint is... uh, get fixed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is actually the one it won't spawn in. Yeah. Sands the two turrets docked onto the side of it. Did I mention that those orbital defense platforms will dock to this? Oh, really? You can have four of them on every side of this, oh, all wow. active. Oh. In fact, this in must, each of those uh, shipyards... Are oh, they, it is. Is everything and active each at those... the moment? Uh, on this, no. Right. But the, uh, what is it called? The orbital shippers, they each have a million shields as well, I might add. So this is, this is no easy nut to crack. I'm just getting a big look at this. Wow. So, the orbital hub, 6,673 blocks, 115 meters long, 113 meters high, 115 meters wide, 20,000 power storage, 160,000 energy per second recharge, 625.8 thrust, one on the X, one on the Y, and one on the Z, 524,000 shields, 14,390 four shields per second recharge and a recovery of four so uh, yeah extremely versatile <laughs> this reminds me of something they have in um, EVE now where you can you know it's more like an EVE online station where you just sort of pull a tower out and anchor it and then you start building exactly yeah that's the philosophy I'm kind of hoping to create with this I want to <laughs> give people the opportunity to spawn a station rather than build one and have it stuck there so that you can have like a forward research station to dock your ship to and stuff like that now i gotta be honest this is my favorite bit <coughs> once you get up out of this one you go right to the series would you right here's a thing to run by you right what would you think about a fleet flagship right but by setting your ship as flagship it gets the grief protection okay but, you can't use any weapons if you're set as flagship. That's an interesting thought. I don't know, I just thought, you know, it'd be interesting because then builders that don't really want to play PvP can just set it to flagship. And they can't get griefed. You know. I think that's, a, that's a, definitely a clever idea, as long as it doesn't use weapons. Yeah, it just having a mobile flagship just disables weapons computers, and then obviously for someone like you, if you set your infrastructure hub to that, then when you've got stuff docked to it, it's invulnerable like a station. But 
it's not do you know what i mean but then it's not you know right. if it hasn't actually got i suppose you would have to set it so that it would deactivate turrets though because it would get a little bit trolly so right but of course then you can just put your orbital defense platforms yeah just float them around it i don't know you know maybe the game doesn't need something like that but I just had a thought while we were floating around, you know, I just thought... Oh, well, I'd very much if... like it would give credence to the idea of a uh, real capital ship. Yeah. I mean, something that you can call your home. Have you got and a gravity? Eventually that would... I haven't got a gravity. Yes, right I'm going a bit mental with my gravity. Where is it? On the ground. Right in front of the core. Yep. There we go. I'm happy now. Sorry, you were saying... Yeah, I regret... the one thing I regret is the ship doesn't have enough windows to make this look as cool as it should. <laughs> it looks a lot like the interior of the Ceres. This is the series. Oh, uh, right, whoops. <laughs> that's why I came that in here on my side. I was like, it. yeah, that's because it is the series. Well done. Well done. I've looked at some, I've looked at the, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy you know the names. <laughs> yeah, at least I recognized it. How could I not? This thing's great. There's, I, I just can't, I can't wait to start using this thing in the future, and I'm sure we'll have a couple encounters with that orbital infrastructure hub. Ah, uh, yeah. And of course, the Darwin. Mm. Yes, the more fleshed out they are, the more machinima y they get. Dropping. Oh, yeah. This tends to be a particularly cool way to explore the station, I might add. Dropping out of gravity and then running about on it. Yeah. So have you got any Makes more? Makes for some interesting angles. Have you got any more ships to show me? Oh. Uh, we could go take a look at that big hangar. That's true. We could. Oh. Oh, series. This is funny as well because oh no, we're not actually in the gravity of the station. Otherwise, this would be an awesome drop. But I'm gonna fall out of the gravity. Yeah. Ah well. I could rotate it uh, 90 degrees and uh, put nah. a gravity block on it. Nah, it's okay. Um, I'm just, you know, being silly. <laughs> Where's the? F that would be entertaining. Where's the? Shroom? Anything for a good drop. Yeah, good drops. Are fun. You are docked under the other side. Oh, hello, I found a core. Oh, a core. I'm stealing it. Oh, oh. there's someone in it. Ah. Eth Ethiol's in it. These days, I just kind of have to look into the catalog and figure out what I haven't shown you yet. <laughs> I've only got my starting blocks to attempt to grief him. Oh, I'll tell you what. I know what you haven't seen yet. Hang on. I'm just trying to grief Athior. <laughs> Feel free. You have that, have you by seen, the way. So. Have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. All right, Betty. How's it going? Hang on, have I got a gun? I'll see if I can wake him up. <gasps> he's in god mode, though. I don't think he's really bothered. Oh, he might be able to get out of there. Can't have that. There we go. Maybe he can get out the bottom. Not anymore. <laughs> That's brilliant. I never get the reaction to when I do stuff to him. He'll probably just get out of it. <laughs> and then just start removing blocks. Sorry about the eyesore on your station. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> so, uh, where do we need to go for this? Um... We're going to have to do a jump. But I found something that you haven't seen yet. Ooh. Okay. I'm, dr I'm drilling up some ancient history here. Okay. But this yeah. is my first detailed ship. Really? Yes, not my first big one, but my first detailed one. Where I found that? the first big one too. Oh. I'm getting ready to spawn it in right now. It's oh. actually been refit as well, so there's a fancier version. But right. there she is, right in front of the Neptune. Oh. The SFW Adrestia. I'm all over it. Once we check this one out, I'll give you a tour of the refit. Do you reckon you could give me some cores? Please. I can do that. Thank you. I see an early gen turret. Wow. 
Or am I mistaken? Plenty of course for you, and that is a very early generation turret. I can see. Oh nice, and you've got a little turret access control here. Oh wait. Huh? Oh, that's part of the turret. Dope. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> That's the idea. This uh, this <coughs> ship basically revolves around the turrets. This is the Corvette, in fact. Uh, it's essentially the ship that the Altair was designed to replace. Even the refit is uh, starting to show its age. But it still looks really cool. I can see where you've come from now, looking at this. Quite interesting. Wait till I show you the one before this. The first big build ever. No way. Oh yeah, it does. It barely even has an interior. I'm just gonna skip back to this one so that people can see. The, the, I mean, if anybody's picking picking up any tips from these videos, looking at this, and then going back and looking at the other one, pretty much tells you what to do. In whatever color you want with whatever style you want but it's just able to get a little bit more detail out of changing the colors like on this you've just changed the colors but on the other one you've actually raised some of the colors up yep exactly and it makes a massive difference there's a lot of uh, homage to this one for example the front end of the series because uh, this is just I love this ship I'm absolutely passionate about it Ceres, or this one? No, this one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, it's kind of a legend. Folklore, the stuff of myth, even. I tell you what I'll do, is I'll spawn in the refit version. Oh, what's this? Because, oh, that's the SFW Skrit. Well, I'm just -K -R -I -T. Sort of floating around it right now. Oh, wow. Lots of room in here. Nice core room down there, or power core. Uh, if you want, you can hop out. There's gravity in the hangar. I give you a proper look over. You can really go either way you want, but I'd say that. Uh... <laughs> Getting a bit technical. <laughs> My god, I've just come up with the worst pun in history. Well, I just jumped onto that core and all I could think of was parkour. Uh, parkour. I should really just jump out of this ship and never return. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's not bad, it's pretty catchy. <laughs> nice, a few chairs, a parkour. Yeah! That looks really nice. Right there. You're killing me. To me, this is embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's really nice. It's funny because it's, it's just like you can see where it's where your design sort of development has come from and gone to. I like this. That's wicked. Not actually yellow hall. No, no, just the lighting. Why does the lighting do that? No clue, but uh, Saber made that mistake as well. He actually managed to review this one way back in the day. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, speaking of homages to this ship, if you look on the table, you might recognize a symbol from the Aetherius. I've thrown little bits of this ship into pretty much everything. It's a nice ship. It's still fairly effective, all things considered, but... The times are finally catching up with her. Jumpity, jumpity. I think this does have my favorite core room of all time, though. 
But first, the storage. Mm. The storage hexagon. Oh, that's a cool storage area. It's far superior to the storage triangle and the storage square. <laughs> <clears throat> and here we've got core room. Double-sided. And Bada very, very well protected. Bada boom. Nice. Do, 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 do. I always click on the faction block. Right. I'll be sure to keep putting them there for you. <laughs> Did you know you could turn off ice? What? Yeah, it's like a regular plex light. You can turn off ice. You what? <clears throat> yeah. What, the crystal? I'll put up the core real quick. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Hang on a sec. Right, so we've got 7,489 mass, 201 meters long, 34 meters high, 61 meters wide, 41,000 total power storage, 1.1 million energy per second recharge, 17,425 thrust, X 1.1, Y 1.2, Z 1.0 for the turning speeds. It's got 651,000 shields. With a recharge of 16,934 shields per second. So let's just check this out. What? 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 Crystal turns off. Yep, turn it off. You can watch. Not that, ah. that one. That one's a little less visible. Ah. Hmm. Here, let's find one like. Out. Oh, here. This is perfect. Hmm. Where'd you go? Right out here in the uh, central area. Uh, That's ice crystal. No. Yeah. It's off. You can... I, I bet you could do the same with lava. What? But that means turn that... off the lava. But that means that you can spell out stuff in lit up crystal. That's a neat thought. If you made a wall of crystal and deactivated it all, and then just activated the bit that you want to write. And it will glow real nice. It'd be like neon writing from a distance. So I just got this really great idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got any crystal? <laughs> so this room is identical to the last. Uh, it's built symmetrically because I was a noob. Symmetry for the wind, man. Don't diss. I do quite like though how you can see both rooms. Yeah, it does. It makes this place look expansive. Which it is, but still, it enhances that. I like that. That's crazy. I like yeah, that wall too. Hides all the turret docking stuff very nicely. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Interesting. I'd never tried deactivating the crystal before. We'll have oh. to find some lava and try it out. Yeah, exactly. You got any on the back of this, baby? Oh, wait. There's some uh, over here, nope. isn't there? No, that's not lava. That's nope. red lights. I would suggest just grabbing a core. We'll find the lava on the back of the turrets. Nope, on the front of the turrets. Darn, this thing is old. Okay. To spoil it, it does not work. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. I didn't expect it to, really, you know. Got some very early alpha alpha style turrets by Dalmont here. Oh yes, those were the prototypes of the prototypes of the prototypes. Yeah, you can tell. And then you come back up here and we've moved into uh, open beta, by the looks of it. Exactamundo. And, uh, and uh, then I think we're really pushing the beta here. <laughs> it's getting there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so what's this baby up here? This is the, the refit. Oh, so you've refit. Breathing new life into the old beast. Ah, beautiful. So what's the name of the first one that we were looking at? The SFW Adrestia. SFW Adrestia. 
And simple enough, this is the address to you too. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'd imagine such. That's good. Uh, if you didn't fire the weapons in the address to you, Whoa. it's two straight lines of bullets. Very noob. Why is this blue? Oh, because you've got... Very well done, mate. That glows blue from back here, and I couldn't figure it out. And it's because it's bl blue ha. hull. <laughs> well done. Blue hull, guys. So what do we got here? The address to two. Refit. Refit. This complete. thing is pure evil. Uh, it's obviously got its successors now, but when I was testing this, it took out 50-some comets and 100 distance all at once. Scary. It's, yeah, it's a Corvette at its heart. More firepower than those orbital defense platforms, and maybe two or three of them put together. Hmm. It'll outgun a serious, but it sure is. I love these tank it. split hull designs on the nose. They look grand. There's a missile launcher in there. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's just, just, just the split hulls. They look grand. So where we got here? More crystal. <laughs> so, really, not much of a difference on the inside. It's pretty much identical, save for the uh, conference room, right. which is uh, walled off. Let's check that out then. Where do we go to get in? Underneath or on the top? Uh, to get into it? Yarp. Hangar bay is your only method of access. This one's got probes in it. And in days like this, I wish the lighting would transfer over to the things in the hangar bay. I take it you're on the other side, yeah? Is the door open? Yep, but you can open either one. It's not factioned. Shout out to my fiance who just brought me a whole plate of spaghetti. Hey! Very unexpected, but oh. very tasty. Oh, good stuff. So, where's this room that I'm looking for? Let's see if I can find it. You'll see the symbol again up on the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A couple of slight differences here as well. A little more Spartan, and the colors are inverted. Ah. Ah, here we are. Beautiful. There's the table. And the room previously filled with salvagers is now filled with shields and AMCs. Yeah. Excellent. One day I'll have to go back and do a proper refit. So how did you change the? Did you change them to something else and then change them to something else? If you know what I mean, so that you didn't get yes. mixed up. Yeah, thought so. I usually change them to purple. Ah, <laughs> good stuff. Oh, oh, and we're out. Yeah, this is kind of the legendary ship where it all started. Yeah, well, two. Close Three. to where it all started. I don't want to make too much of a fuss. I'm throwing ships at you left and right. Yeah. But uh, this baby, which I've just spawned in, is the SFW Hyperion. A Hyperion. And it is my first big build ever. Oh wow. Ever, 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 ever. This is like the fifth ship I ever made. It actually still holds a respectable 7.9 on the ships. 50 some boats. Oh wow. And the uh, hide and seek go find the faction block. Good luck with that if you want to try. <laughs> But I, I would suggest uh, staying in your core for this one. I don't want to make too much fuss about it. But this is this is kind of where it all started. Yeah. The development tree began here. It's got my favorite hangar, though. Even better than the Ethereus, I think. When you fly into it, it's just magical.
check it out. It's at the back, is it? That's correct. Let's check it out. Okay, it does look nice. He built Very like welcoming. A spiral staircase. More or less. Kinda. Docking up the top for a little core, I'm guessing. Cores, probes, you name it. Yeah, yeah. Mm, lots of different sized docks. Let's go in here. It's even got two little hangar bays at the side. In the original version, these were all outfitted uh, a few times with uh, probes. So the same little 3x3 three three things you see in a couple other ships. Still using the same design today in the Solana. There's too much going on in this interior though, isn't there? Oh, way too much. It's, too, it's like a maze. It's almost like there's two sides of a, you know, for interiors, it's either too much, you know what I mean, or too little. <laughs> but this is like, it's open plan. But it kind of gets a bit confusing, doesn't it? Like where you're going. It's all those blue. Yeah, it's really, yeah. That's what it is. This is this is kind of like a what not to do. Yeah, because it's uh, so much lighting, so much spaces. I mean, it could be a lot worse, but uh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, mate. It's like your first ship or something. If you're, you know, on that basis, it's actually really cool. You know, you got some nice little ideas here, like this little thing. You know, you got like a pipe running down the middle of the room or something. I don't remember what's through this door. Like a conduit or something. Don't oh, that's in back entrance. Oh, really? The back entrance, eh? So then. Go out for a happy little spacewalk. Yep, yep. So then, what's in here? Storage! Whoa. Okay, let's check the core out and get some stats on the three, this this beautiful ship. There we are. Da, 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 da. The Hyperion by Dalmont. Here we are. It's got a mass of 16,861. It's got a length of 218 meters. Height 55. Width 97. Power 468,000. Uh, recharge 2.2 million. Is that? I suppose it is. Yeah, it is I yeah. couldn't 2 remember. 2.2 million per second. Thrust, 58,464. Uh, turning speed is 1.1 on the X, 1.1 on the Y, and 1 on the Z. The uh, shields, 734,000. And the recharge is 18,532. Recovery 4. Boom. And find my way out. Because turret heavy ship, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well, at least it was at one point. Since a lot of the uh, nerfs, it tended to get. Uh... No, basically they all got removed for the sake of uh, clean version to download. Yeah. And if you're curious, the faction block for anybody who is still wondering to this day. Because that was pretty much every comment I got is up here in this top section, right on the roof of the bridge. Uh, no one could find it, yeah? Nope. That was 90% of the comments in the thread. So uh, since then, I've always put the faction block right on top of the core or left it absent completely. Same goes yeah, with gravity. So that people can put them in themselves. Yep. I th on the Sylvana, there is no faction block. Spoilers. If you've been looking for it, it's not there. Stop. Stop looking. <laughs> you heard it here. Put first. your own on. It's not there, so you can put your own on it. Use of these uh, wedges as well is nice on the engines. Gives a sort of gives makes it look like it's got vents or something covering it up. It's very nice. So this one had a shuttle that came with it. Oh really? I just spawned it. In. It's really little. You don't have to go inside, but. Uh, where is it? There she is. The Helios just spawned it behind the oh, uh, ship. Oh, I see it. It was designed to hold, I think, like three of these. 
<laughs> Excellent. First, the static shuttle. The rest of the more cubes filled with salvagers. <laughs> What have we got in here? What have we got? Got a faction module. I do have to admit, it's still one of my favorite little ships to fly around. I'm gonna give it a On the planet fly. base, there's a couple of those. Very inefficient. Right, so let's go. Whoa, oh, did I just slap you? Whoops. Sorry, man. It's alright, flying off into oblivion. I'm waving. It's got happy wings. <laughs> I parked the successor down here. I'm gonna go grab it. I'm gonna go and uh, try and park up. Oh wow, it's just like elite. Only the door's really big, right? Yep. So you want to get into there and start rotating it. This is like playing old space games. You just lost your I ship. doubt it'll dock. <laughs> no, I was just sort of playing elite. Oh, oh god, what happened? What happened? What happened? Something happened. The successor is mad. Something happened. Oh, what's this you found? What's this? What's this? Where are you? Oh, there you the are. Neptune. Oh, you're shooting at me, are you? Let's take a look at it before we start having a fight. <laughs> what is this? This is the SFW Neptune, and before you say so, it is a blatant ripoff of the Lambda Shuttle, or whatever that blue camo one was from X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. It was... I made it because I liked it. Yeah. Looks nice. It does. Looks nice. It's like a little tri-wing. I, I am in love with this thing. <laughs> it's a worthy successor to the Helios. So, let's do battle. I'll fight you in this thing. Why not? Let's do it. It should be fairly evenly matched. You ain't got the god mood on. Oh, do I? Let me turn mode? it off. I don't think so. No, you don't have it on. Now's my chance while he's in the console. Type kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's got the sun. I can't have that. Also have guns that have a terminal velocity of impossible. Y you you're about two seconds away from a space station. I'm good. Although I gotta admit that was pretty epic. <laughs> oh, now you gotta find me. What will he find me first? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, he's found me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. Give it. Give it. Give him some cheese. I'm doing all this in tab G, so sorry if my aim is poo. Tab G, here we go. Yeah. We're doing it, we're doing it right. Old style. Tab G, mate, no HUD. Oh no, I'm losing blocks. I'm out of shields. Are you? Yeah, I'm out of shields, man. I still see you as shields. Oh really? I saw a little explosion. Yeah, I see you. Oh, there's your shields. You, your shields are still blue, man. They're not even going down at all. I don't think I could got. I think my DPS is lower than your recharge. <laughs> that would be really quite sad. I don't think I can win this. It's going to be a miracle if I can hit you though with these three guns. Note to future potential builders of things with three wings: it doesn't work. I'm sure you. Uh oh. Oh, that didn't work. So close. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't, I can't get away. We're doing. And the, I can't hit you. Remember, this is that thing about that like, I'm doing max speed now, and so are you. So this and this will never end. <laughs> I'm hitting you, but I can't get a good angle on the core. 
Just because of how fast you're going. Uh oh. Oh, I've gotten below you. Not like it matters at this point. <laughs> the the top of your ship is a mess. <laughs> Got <it> started. <laughs> oh, bacon. And we're going back. God, it's like trying. It's like trying to hit. It's like trying to use a fondue fork to eat rice. It really is. It's impossible to hit anything with this gun. Scheme, please help us. Make make the gun convergence work better. Oh yeah, your convergence. You're hitting a point behind my ship. Yep. So it's, your bullets it's are just awful. missing. Uh -oh. The Ethereus had a huge problem with that before he added the... Uh, what is it? The other fire command. Fire the guns! Shoot all the guns. Want all the missiles? That's not gonna work. Right, I need my I need my head back. I'm impressed at this little ship's resilience. It just either my aim's that bad or it won't die. No, nah, it's just you've been missing, or you haven't been missing. Oh god, my shields. Oh wow, I've got no camera. Shoot through the hole in the hole! Hard. This is basically how the battle's gonna go down, is it? Nose to nose. Nose to nose. Toe to toe. Face to face. Shuttle v shuttle. I don't the fight of the century. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Pull off. Spin. Oh. Evade. Oh, we've had a collision. Yes, we have. It was intentional. 100%. Absolutely. We are best pilot. Oh god, I think I'm losing thrust. Yeah. Oh, you're losing a lot of thrust. Using my knowledge of the ship systems. I'm literally going to the point where I'm aiming the bullet, not the crosshair. Right, do you know what this ship needs? An escape um. plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. I've managed to hit a higher speed than usual. I think I've managed to hit max speed. Yes, that's it. I'm gone. I'm gone, baby. Wait. Are you still chasing me? Oh, no. This isn't good. Let's try and oh. shake him. Oh. I know some maneuvers. <laughs> List lazily to the <laughs> Oh, we, we need to do more of these little ship dogfights. I still want to see a Mark III versus... Oh, I've got shots on the core. You thought. Oh, there it's back. Oh, I gotta you stop talking. No, you do not. No, you do not have shots on my core. <laughs> I think I've shot at all your AMCs before the weapons computer. <laughs> oh. There's nothing left. <laughs> Is it dead? <laughs> yeah, you got me. To the last block, mate. To the last wow. block. Wow. That was fun. I think we learned a 120, lot, 120, 119, 150, all negative. Come back here and look at this beast. I do want to. Teleport me, dude. Are you there? Yep. Beautiful. I'm just uh, waiting for my uh, core to spawn. There we go. Core is spawned. Now, where are you? Sitting next to the decimated remains of what was once a shuttle. <laughs> my god. Where the hell is it? It's full of holes. I wonder where it is. Uh, you're going to want to come, I guess, to your right. Core overheating. There it is. Ooh, 145 seconds. seconds. That seems like ages now. I have never seen a ship with this many damaged blocks. It's because I kept rotating so that you'd have a different side to shoot at. <laughs> I was like trying to get the most out of my armor, dude. <laughs> but you managed to get me. That's a tough little beast. 
fair and square. You haven't even got any damage. I didn't even get your shield to red. To be fair, this thing's pretty much OP compared to that, but <laughs> well played. It was still fun. I loved it. It was great. Very, very well played. Oh, I'd, I'd love go. to do a uh, Comet versus Mark III with you. A what? Uh, Comet versus Mark III. We did that with Bezer once, and uh, Comet won. Really? Not by much, but a Comet won. In fact, the Mark III didn't even break its shields. I need to refit all my ships. So I'll have to come refit back it? to you. Yeah, yeah. Send Always it for the comment. I have. I actually have to refit the comment as well. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Everything's a little bit special at the moment. That's why I'm building new ships with missiles. Hear yeah, that? Build missiles, folks. Yeah, uh, yeah. Build with missiles. Yeah. Turrets. They break shields. Missiles. At least until this fixed. <laughs> yeah, I know it's funny, isn't it? The, the idea is that it shouldn't need to be fixed. It should be sort of just brought into the mechanic. I like it. Brought in. I, I, I think it's a good idea. I think that there should be uh, a tolerance, like a breach tolerance, you know? So that if you hit for over a certain amount of DPS, or if the, the you know, if you manage to breach the shield recharge amount, then it should actually bleed through some damage, you know? Oh, definitely. Because then people wouldn't need to make ridiculously overpowered D1000 rays. They could just actually use the D1000 for that. I don't know. It could probably do with, like, better people to come up with the, the finer details. But we certainly need something, like, that either pierces shields or at least takes them down in a slower fashion. I'd still like to see uh, the damage carried over block to block so mm. but for the last five seconds here you can edit it out if you want but uh i think taps would be in order taps for, yes da, 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 da. Taps. yeah the funeral march oh <laughs> brave little ship <laughs> the ancient shuttle that could indeed well, thanks for uh, uh, bringing this, bringing me on here and showing me all your ships as usual. But uh, it's nice when they're all here. And damn, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do awesome a proper lineup. Ships. Still, <clears throat> yeah, we still do need to do a proper lineup. Your entire fleet, please, in one line. That's all I ask. I don't ask for much. I need help. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can help you line them up. Just if you spawn them all in. Obviously, not now. We'll come back to it. Right then, so thanks for watching. This has been a preview of the SFW Orbital Shipyard and a few of the various ships that were uh, in its vicinity. Uh, can complete with a little bit of a history, journey through history with Mr. Dalmont. So thanks for coming on and for the commentary on this one, buddy. Well, thanks for having me as always. I'll look forward to doing uh, a full lineup and all that good stuff. And of course, thanks for watching. So, I'll see you next time. Phonetically, that ended badly. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and... Drawing a blank here. Ah, okay. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. So if you start spinning, and then I'll go sideways. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Okay, right, you're gonna spin that way. So I need to spin that way. Okay, right, ready, go. Oh boy. We've gone off at 45 degree angle. Yep. Look how far I got, that's, I got flown, flung. I'm hitting the brakes. Did you see that? Oh, that's beautiful. Look how far away I got flown. And I didn't teleport. 721 meters. That was actually in quite insane. Hang on. Do so you think the, the speed, the, the spin energy is being converted into motion, you know, along the axis because of the collision? Only one good way to find out. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Right. Or it could just be your relative motion transferring. I'll, I'll level this time. Right. <laughs> so if I go Neptune bumper cars round one. If I go here, 
There you go. Right, a little bit more. Up a bit. Try and slowly drift into it. Oh, okay. I was spinning as well in the opposite way to you. That way, at that oh, wow. time, I think I spun. That looks cool. Did I spin the same we're way? We're in sync. Are we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in sync. Let's oh, see wow. How we go. Hang on. I can't get over to you, though, because... I like how directionally up, down, left, and right are never the same. Yeah, because it's, it's always the way your ship's rotating. If you time it, you can go in the direction you want. I got to say, though, this ship is just so much fun to spin. <laughs> it's like it was made for it. Right, I'm going to come in for another bump from long distance this time. I hope this works. Alright, I've stopped. I, need to I love the Eve terms, bump. Yeah. Right, here we go. I think I need to go forward a bit. Hang on, I'm going to line it up proper. Come on. Whoa. Right. Do you know what? I wasn't that far off. Back a bit. Right, okay, lining it up. Byron, oh! Okay. I wonder if you can make a really low mass four-sided ship. So it's Zed, like a giant it's cross. Z. I'm hitting uh, X. Okay, here we go. Spinning. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what happened? Did you see that? Look. We've drifted apart. Deviated. Hang on, I think something went wrong. Whoa, hang on. Why is my ship still spinning? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> You're having one of those moments. <laughs> yeah, I was having a moment there. Let's try it again. Uh oh, my ship! What's it doing? What's it doing? Whoa! It's that scared it. It's wobbling. That's not me. Oh god! I'm. I'm gonna be right back. That was the scariest noise I've ever heard. Oh really? Okay. I don't know if that was my door cracking open slightly, but the thing just opened and like made this horrendous cracking noise. Oh dear. That's never good. <laughs>